Hello and welcome again in Tech Tutorial video. This is another session for Microsoft Excel Basics. Today we are going to start talking about formatting cells. We are going to cover font and border as part of this tutorial. Also, at the end of this tutorial, there is a useful tip for you. Formatting cells in Microsoft Excel is very important in order to make your data meaningful and presentable. Here is the font section under Home tab which gives you control over font and border. Let's see how to change font and font size in Microsoft Excel. Here I already have some data in this Excel for the demo. Suppose I want to change the font of my data. It's very simple. Just go to the current font. It is showing on the font section and click on the little arrowhead. And it will show all the available fonts in the system. Here is a cool feature of Microsoft Office 2007 and 2010 that you can preview your data before applying a font. So just scroll your cursor to any font and you will get a preview of your data. If you like it, just apply it. I like Arial. Uh, let's apply it. So how about font size? Here the number right after the font name is indicating the current font size. You can change the font size by selecting any number from the drop down or you can use these two letters. The bigger A is to increase the font size and the smaller A is to decrease the font size. Let me have a bigger font size for my table header item and price. I selected both the cells. Now I will use the bigger A to increase the font size. If your desired font size is not on this list, you can very well type it in over here. Also, if you want a font size bigger than 72 then also you can type it in here but I don't want that big so I'll use the decrease font size the smaller a to decrease the font size to 18 now if you want to make them bold use this B over here or you can use hotkey control B to make it italic you can use I over here or you can use hotkey control I if you want to make it underline use this or hotkey control U and if you want to make it double underline click on the little arrowhead and you will get another option double underline now here we have a command fill color to apply a background color for your cells. You can select a color for your selected cells. If you don't want any color, just go back and select no fill. But let me put some color for my table, like blue. If you are not happy with the available color here, you can very well go to the more color and you can play around this palette which is custom or you can go to the standard to get a different variety of colors you can choose from. Let's go to the next comment, font color. You can choose from any of these colors or you can go to more colors. Let me select one for my headers of the table. Now we are going to talk about another important thing in this section which is border. 
all the grid lines we see over here are not going to show up on paper if we want to print it so if we want our data in table like format then we have to apply borders for our cells even if we don't want to print if we want to present our data in a better way then we need to apply borders for cell even if we don't want to print it always good practice to add cell borders for better presentation of your data suppose we want to put borders for all the cells we have data let's see what option we have here we have many options based on which side of the cell you want to have borders like bottom border top border left border right border no border like the one we have right now all borders outside borders thick box border and all these options are pretty much self explanatory and here is a little preview which shows you that how your cell will look like let me select this one all borders and see this is how it looks like let's quickly check out the print preview to see how it will look like if we want to print this and here is our table like data by default the border color will be black but if you want a different color for your border you can very well go over here and choose the color you want and also if you go over there you have option to choose a style of your border like for example if we want this one let's select this one and you'll be able to draw a border we have option to erase borders like if we don't like this we can erase them also if we want to draw border grid it will look like this if you want more customized borders then you can go to another option here which is more borders and here you can work with different type of borders and try these options and see how it looks like and press ok and this will apply the desired border so this is how we can work with font and borders to format cells in Microsoft Excel now it's time for tip of the session here in this worksheet I have some text in A2 B3 and C4 cell as you can see that length of these texts are more than the width of cells so these texts are coming out of these cells the tip is about how we can fit these texts into their cells alright take your cursor over to the grid line between column names and when the cursor is changed like the one is showing on the screen double click on it again for the B column take your cursor over to the grid line between B and C and double click on it again take it over to the grid line between C and D and double click and now we have enough space for all the text we have you don't have to click again and again if you want to do it for multiple columns let me show it over here just select all the cells you want to expand place your cursor after the last cell and double click over there and here we have all the cells formatted as per the text length together in the same way you can use the row names over here to adjust height of cells so here we are done with today's tutorial 
If you have any question, please leave me a comment. I'll be happy to assist you. If you liked my tutorial, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and share your comment. Thank you for watching Tech Tutorial video. See you soon.